Hey, so uh, my name is Danielle, but I usually go by Danny or Danimo, um, and I want to join the Add One or Plus One Challenge. I am a super duper duper senior <laughs> um, in the University of California system. I'm about to get my Bachelor of Science in Cognitive Neuroscience, and I already have a minor in math. Um, I will be finishing up before this challenge is over, but uh, this summer I'm going to a one last course with, uh, with my university, which would be to our seminar, a global seminar called Mathematical Beauty in Rome. Um, and so that, as you may have guessed, I'm taking on Italian. Uh, my prior experience with Italian, um, I've been on Duolingo for about a week, <laughs> and that's about it. Um, I am a, uh, my native language is American English, and my second language would be Spanish, but um, not. I'm, I'm much less fluent than I'd like to be, but for them to be a typical ignorant, you know, person who's going around asking people very slowly and loudly if they speak English because I didn't bother learning their language. I'm going to be updating three times. I'll update this week with kind of a introduction of what I can say now. Um, for example, I can say things like, um, okay, hopefully this is right. Um, Yo bevo l'acqua nello bichete? Nello bichete. I think that means I drink the water in the cup. I need to get some more. But yay, I can say that. And a week ago, I didn't know what any any of, any of those words meant, <laughs> let alone how to put them in a sentence. We'll probably start the challenge tomorrow, which is uh, Sunday, January fifth. Um, but I'll probably keep going until the end, until April fifteenth. If I want to do one to two lessons on Duolingo a day. Now I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I am completely addicted to that app, and I'm on break right now. And oh, I can't, um, can't be duolingoing all the time. I gotta finish my bachelor's, <laughs> so I should have at least. I have an eight-day streak right now, so I should have at least at least a 99-day streak. Um, it'll put me like halfway through the Duolingo like program, and that'll be perfect because then from April until I leave for Rome, I have all that time to master the conversational Italian that I want to, and I'll also have more time to devote to Spanish. I'm going to set aside five dollars any day that I don't complete at least one to two lessons or strengthen one to two skills, and uh, if I do still meet my long-term goals at the end of the challenge, then that will be my reward that I can spend that cash. If I don't, then however much I have set aside, I will donate to a charity of my choice. Um, but I can't touch it. It won't be mine. And I'm kind of broke. I'm a college student, so I I would love to donate when I have an income again, but since I don't for now, <laughs> that will be a punishment. <laughs> so um, please subscribe to my progress if you're a, a fellow Add One Challenger, and especially if you are studying Italian um, or if you're a native speaker of Italian. Um, constructive criticism is always appreciated, and of course, uh, positive feedback is always really reassuring and motivating. So, alright, thanks.